Oh, how I love being rejected. Great feeling. And you, my lovely people, are going to find out why in this video. Rejections. Rejections are a funny thing. Rejections can hurt. It can cause immense embarrassment and provoke some real soul searching and create some complex inferiority conundrums. Rejections. Now, in order to get rejected, you need to have a crush. And this crush is exciting. But as like most things in life, the excitement experience is short-lived and quickly turns into pain and despair. As you witness your dreams of a Disney fairy tale life spent with your newfound crush doused by piss. Their piss, as they tell you that they have never felt that way for you and that they never will. <laughs> and that the special connection that you believe you two had, you know, all those crazy romantic moments like when your eyes would align with theirs from across a crowded room, leaving your heart to skip a beat as your mind plays the song that we played for your first dance at your wedding on repeat. P.S. Mine would be, I just can't take my eyes off of you. Performed by me, of course, because I always need to be the center of attention, apparently. Here's a quick preview. <laughs> Where actually all conceived in your head, and she was only looking directly back at you because she was wondering how you got into the girls' changing room in the first place. No, 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 no. Now, most people instinctively fear rejection and will try to avoid it at all costs, believing any potential pleasure that they could have by taking a chance is by no means worth the excruciating pain caused by being told no or I don't feel the same way. <laughs> Pussies. What about when you were a teenager? You were scared shitless of rejection. Okay, well yes, this is true. I too was guilty of being a pussy and fearing rejection. In fact, I was so afraid of rejection that I once spent an hour and a half speaking to a girl at a house party in which I thought we were hitting it off only for her to later on that evening come and apologise to me that she had no idea I was trying to flirt with her. Brutal. Shed a tear for a fallen soldier. Oh, and that she wasn't interested. Respect. Now, I have completely changed my outlook since then, and I'm proud to say I'm no longer controlled by the fear of rejection. I mean, come on guys, everyone knows it's a numbers game. One out of a hundred, right? Lol, fuck no it's not, I just became better looking and now I don't get rejected so often. <laughs> If you ugly, you ugly. I'm sorry. Blame Jesus. He be getting too much love recently anyway. However, as unlikely as it may seem, I too still get rejected from time to time. Clearly something wrong with these chicks. I do recall what most would consider a somewhat brutal day in New York, late 2019. <laughs> I'm standing on the subway with my mate Joe. Notice that my mate's always called Joe. Either I only have one friend or I'm really uncreative with names. I see this stunning girl, Asian of course, sitting down with AirPods in. I bide my time and I wait till the seat next to her becomes available. And Joe shakes his head across from me as he sees my face light up like it's Christmas as I sit next to her. I tilt my head over to her to show Joe I'm considering making my move. He looks very concerned and points at my phone. So I look down at my phone and he sent me a text. Please, it's been a long day of sightseeing. Please don't fucking ask her out in front of a packed subway carriage. The girl has AirPods in, for fuck's sake. Jeez, Joe, why you always got to be so moody? Damn. I reply, you're right. I shouldn't, especially if she has headphones in. But then the little fucker within me couldn't resist but make everyone on that subway carriage feel uncomfortable as fuck. Sends text. I'ma send it. Tap her on the shoulder. Sorry, miss. You are absolutely stunning. And I just couldn't leave this subway without asking you if you wanted to grab a drink sometime. Oh, I'm sorry. I have a boyfriend. She looks uneasy and puts her AirPods back in. She looks so uncomfortable. Joe looks uncomfortable. The whole carriage looks uncomfortable. I... I burst out laughing. This shit is hilarious. We had to sit on that subway for another horrifically awkward eight minutes before we reached our stop. I loved it. Now me and Joe are discussing my antics when we return to the hotel lobby. And Joe goes, Oh, the unreal hotel lobbyist that you were hitting it off with is working today. Straight up 9.5 out of 10. Now, she was this sexy, tanned, blonde Polish woman in her late 20s that had lived in Manchester for five years and was just awesome, like a really cool person. So yeah, I had been infatuated with her since our check-in day. Joe didn't want to watch, even though I offered him front row seats. <laughs> Rude. I walk up to the desk and start chatting about things to do in New York City. And we land on when her next day off is. And she had just told me about this awesome bagel shop in Brooklyn. When I go, oh yeah, it sounds great. Maybe you could take me on your day off. Direct eye contact. Long pause yeah i don't think that's a good idea i disagree but say no more if you're ever back in england okay wow rejected twice in 30 minutes i chuckled to myself as i thought about how most people's confidence would be shattered at this point well not me because i'm deluded get in the elevator and by the time i'm back in the hotel room with joe i tell him i've got a date lined up with this 27 year old puerto rican girl later that night that i matched on bumble hmm i guess it is a numbers game